Hey guys, it's Doom Master Nerf on my mana, 1984, and I got three new games, and I'm going to save the best for last, because you guys will never believe what game I got. Um, first of all, I'll show you the first two games I got, and then the last game, the best for last game I'm talking about, I'll make a gameplay video of that. Uh, first game I got, I got this yesterday, um, is Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a crappy game, I mostly got it just for its music. Um, second one, and I got this one today, along with this other game. Um, the best for last game is what I call um, Wayne's World. Yeah, I know that game's shitty too, but you know what? It's rare and, you know, I know, I, I'm the shitty game collector. What can I say? I'm kind of messed up in the head when it comes to stuff like that. And the best for last. You guys will not believe this. Seriously. Oh, look at this. I cannot believe I found this. You know what the game store I got it at? They had one in the box, but it was 60 bucks. This one was 35 bucks. Um, oh, I can't really see it, but it was quite a damn deal. So, I'm going to make a gameplay video of it. Unfortunately, I can't get this to work on my NES. So, I'm not playing on my generation anyway. So. Sorry, excuse me. I recently... Recently ate. So, let's hook this baby up. And hopefully the power supply doesn't do this shit. Ah, crap. Power supply doesn't really work that well. Yeah, 
I saw the game in this posting at this game store. I got out this game store called Amazing Heroes Toys and Comics. They have tons of NES games, and Super Nintendo games. Um, so you know, it, if, you, if you live in Washington, you know, it's probably a good place to check out. Um, fortunately, it's only open during the weekdays, so I had to kind of slip out of school today because the guy can't make arrangements on. Um, Weekends, like you said, you can. So um, that sucks. Um, so you know, th this one's pretty decent. I mean, I, I like it. It's, I mean, it's just like the arcade version, except this one's got better music. At least in my opinion. And what makes the music better is that it's got percussion. It's pretty much it. I don't know. It sounds pretty much exactly the same as the arcade version. The, car the arcade version has the same exact music. I mean. Um, except the music in that game was done by Bill Cody, the one in this game is done by Brad Fuller. Um, so, um, you know, this one's worth checking out on an emulator or whatever. I mean, I'm glad I got this game, though. I am really thankful for this game. I, this is a birthday present, by the way, because it's almost my birthday. Um, I mean, the, I mean the, gra the graphics in the this one are also better than the Nintendo version. I mean, I know that once you place the blocks on there, they're just they're just green or a color or something. But still, I mean, the, I mean the Nintendo version they were kind of monochromatic colors, like for each level. There's like like two colors per level. That's what kind of sucks. So I can't really say monochrome. It wasn't really monochrome, it was just that wasn't really good color selection. Another game I'm trying to get is Battletoads for the NES. Um, so, um, so, I mean, this this game, so, like I said, it's worth checking out. Um, I, I've played this on an emulator a few times, but, you know, I, I, it's better playing on the real console.